Now we will see the in vector algebra products of two vectors. So the product of two vectors can be scalar also or can be vector also. Like see we have a vector A and B. So there can be two kinds of products of these like when we will find out the dot product. So like the result will be a scalar quantity. So that is called the scalar or dot product of two vectors. And the another one is the cross product. So that is a cross b so that time this product will have some magnitude and as well as the direction so this product will be vector so this is called the cross product so this is the dot product and this is cross product so now i'll discuss with you that scalar product that is dot product so the dot product if we have like two vectors a and b and the angle between them is theta so then the dot product is given by a dot b equals to magnitude of a into magnitude of b into cos theta so this is the formula for the dot product of any two vectors now uh, as i told you that there are three vectors in unit three unit vectors along the x axis y axis and z axis And the angle between all the x-axis, y-axis and z-axis, you know, it is 90 degree. So here we have I, J and K. So the angle between I and I, what will be the angle between I and I? So that will be 0. So you know that this will be magnitude of I is also 1, another I is also 1 and then we will get cos 0. And you know that cos 0 is 1. So the dot in dot product I dot I is 1. But if you will take it with another vector like i dot j, so you know that i dot j, the angle between i j or j k or k i is 90 degree only. So magnitude of both is 1 into 1 and then we have cos 90 degrees. So here you will get cos 90 is 0. So the product of two different unit vectors that is i and j will be 0 only. So i j j k k i the product of these three will be always zero but the product of i i j j and k k will always be one so you have to use these to find the product of the two vectors i'll just show you some example of this let's say we have a equals to 3i plus 2j minus k and we have b so that is i plus j only i plus j so we have to find out the dot product of a and b so in the dot product of a and b what will happen you know that we have to multiply this i j with this 3 i plus 2 j minus k so as i told earlier that i i will be 1 only and i j will be 0 only i i will give you a result 1 and i j will be 0 i k will be also 0 so whenever you are finding the dot product so just simply multiply the uh, coefficients of i i so 3 into 1 i i will become 1 then plus j into here again j 1 into 2 and then here in the first we don't have a k that means it is 0 k so 0 into something will be 0 only and then k k will be 1 so here the dot product of a and b is how much 3 plus 2 5 so that will be the dot product of a and b so like this we can find out so uh, for sometimes you will get a question like two vectors will be there and you have to find out the product dot product of these two so you can do it in this way you can also get some questions in which you have to find out uh, the angle so let's say uh, this is the question like a b is given to you uh, let's say it's one the dot product of a b is one then the magnitude of a is one magnitude of b is also is 2 and then uh, they will tell you ask you to find out the angle between these two vectors so in this situation so you can do you can find out here i have already like it is given that a dot b is 1 but sometimes it can be a will be given to you in the form of vectors b can be in the form of vectors so then you can find out the dot product easily so that time you will use this formula cos theta equals to a dot b divided by magnitude of a and magnitude of b so this formula you can use to find out the angle 
between the two given vectors. So here a dot b, I have told you this is 1, a is also 1 and b is 2. So here the cos theta will be half, then you can find out the angle between the a and b. So your theta will be cos inverse half, so cos inverse half is 60 degree or pi by 3. So your angle will be pi by 3. So you can get these kind of questions from the dot product. Now let's see some of the properties of dot product. So a dot b is always a real number and the non uh, a b being two non-zero vectors then again uh, a dot b can be zero. If the angle between the two vectors is 90 degree or perpendicular to each other, two vectors are perpendicular to each other then the product will be zero. The same way if the angle between two vectors is zero then the product will be equal to the product of their magnitude and if you are multiplying two vectors together then you will get the magnitude square and if the angle is pi then the product will be negative of the product of the magnitude and this I have already discussed i i j j k k will be 1 i j j k k i will be 0 and this is the well uh, like to find out cos theta you can use this formula and this one is also very important that the scalar product is commutative that means a dot b will be same as b dot a then uh, another very important topic from this is projection of a vector on a line. So you can get questions from this topic and this topic is very important. So let's say you have to find out projection of a vector A on another vector B. So it is given by A dot B cap. Okay, B cap. So here just read the statement and understand it. So here projection of a vector A on vector B. So on vector B that means you have to take the cap of that vector on b so take a cap of that and you know the meaning of cap means it's a unit vector b so unit vector b is magnitude uh, vector b divided by magnitude of b so that is the meaning of that so here you have to find out uh, the projection of a on b so it is given by a dot b divided by magnitude of a so you'll get these type of questions from the dot product of two vectors or scalar product of any two vectors